Oh, I told you about the dark crack, right? Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the grand finale and the great conclusion to the Rosetta Base Probe and Philly... Crashlander? Uh, Crashlander. Comet Dust Roller. Rosetta is a space probe built by the European Space Agency, launched on March 2nd, 2004, along with Philly, a lander module, which was destined to land on the comet and do some science. And they would be chasing and landing Comet 67P churyumov Jeromenko. And let me tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, chasing a comet down and then landing on him is extremely hard work and engineering. I just keep hearing the song running down a dream. Come here. You have magic treasure in the form of science data and cotton candy. You have primordial dust. Get back here. <laughs> origins. The answers to our origins rest within you. 67P. Thankfully, it wasn't 68. We heard enough of that with the TX one. Okay, so, yeah, the European Space Agency, which was made up of a bunch of countries, making up an eclectic space agency. Whereas, you know, the United States has NASA, which is a uh, American-German space program. So, yeah, on August 6, 2014, the spacecraft reached the comet and performed a series of maneuvers to be captured in its orbit. All right, so, uh, <laughs> and yeah, oh, I remember this. On November 12th, the lander module performed the first successful landing on a comet. Asterisk. Though its battery power ran out two days later. The silence you hear right now is intended. You know a woman was not on that mission packing for that trip. Doesn't sound like a man was either. Or everybody just forgot batteries. Why maybe, would you send that thing with no batteries? Maybe the Energizer Bunny is allergic to comet dust. Maybe it's a different kind of dust, different kind of charge. Maybe one charges things up and one drains the battery. So no matter what, it wouldn't hold a charge. You're saying it wouldn't hold a charge so the battery was faulty? This is breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. No, what I'm saying uh, is, is like, what happens if we don't have those kind of parts? Because everything has like a positive and a negative or a neutral charge in space. Everything's positive, negative, neutral. So what happens if uh, whatever we had on him to be rechargeable needed a different kind of charge? Oh, like if he was solar powered and the two days of battery was just the emergency backup. Right, because the energy coming in, say it was of a neutral charge, so it couldn't charge up his panels or whatever. You know, I don't know what was on him. Did You know, maybe the sunlight's not hitting that thing the same way. Maybe it's going through like a, a big cloud and it didn't charge up the same. I don't know. Now it just looks like the Loch Ness Monster, so I don't know. I'll stop talking, but I think I'm right. About yes, there are many possibilities, but I like to think of the meeting. They're all sitting around like, okay, dudes, we just went 10 years to get here. We took 10 years to get here. We're landing this common lander module. How many days of uh, backup battery do you think we need? And then someone was like, one. They're like, wait, that sounds good. But let's double that. Two days of battery power. So that way if something goes wrong, and on this comet that is spinning around like a giant bullet duck hammer at like 60,000 miles an hour, or whatever it is, that the solar panels might not open properly. It might get covered in this sludgy pre-dinosaur dust comet thing. Because some so, of the comets, they're dark. There's no glow. Like some of the asteroids, maybe whatever was on it is like it absorbs where it couldn't get charged to its panel. Yeah. And we say we wrote stories about that. I didn't follow this thing up at all. I was sick of it the first night. It ran out of batteries. Communications with Philly were briefly restored in June and July 2015. Enough to get the important science done. But due to diminishing solar power, Rosetta's communications module with the lander was turned off on 27 July 2016. As of 2016, the mission continues to return data from the spacecraft in orbit. So like you were saying, it's positive and negative. So like the Rosetta was a positive and the Filet was a negative. And you combine those two and it's just a big win for the European Space Agency and space agencies everywhere. Yeah, big win. Big win. Asterisk. Yeah. Because they didn't, they couldn't have that lander driving around there going, ooh, data. Like, curiosity is in the dirt at Mars. They can't have months and months of this data coming out. And think about what if it found primordial worms yeah. on a comet. Then people would be so scared of comets. Yeah, they wouldn't like that. Or what happens if it is like a big kitty box? People Whoa. are not going to like big kitty boxes. Like, full of, you know. Especially not ones that can flatten cities. Yeah, no. So it was tragic, and little children everywhere who had been rooting for that cartoonish lander were heartbroken and learning to cry for the first or second time. And then what happened? Dun dun dun! <laughs> I'm just looking at Filet down there again. Will you read the science, please? Yes, I will. 
Rosetta's missing fillet probe found in dark crack on Comet. Oh, what luck. I never guessed that he was stuck in a crack. <laughs> Especially a dark one. Of all the places I guessed, I guessed that he could be at the, he could be lost in the Starbucks there, and its Wi-Fi wouldn't connect with our space programs. Or he was stuck under an awning. I don't know if anybody lives on Rosetta, but if they did, they might have an awning, you know, that hangs over the porch. So he was under the awning, maybe even under the hammock. I never guessed a dark crack. No, I ne never guess a dark crack on a comet. No. But the good thing is, kids, Flay taught us a very important lesson that it stood the test of time. In almost every situation, whether you're on fire or you're landing on a comet, stop, drop, and roll or bounce. That's what Flay did. Duck and cover. Duck and cover. <laughs> Duck and cover. That's yeah. exactly covered by crack. Duck you're amazing cover. at this. Well, it's just they spell it out right there. It's a duck, and it's under the cover of the duck. So. Oh, my God. Hold on a second. I never even realized. So, yeah, that, this means they found Filet. Yeah. Found him. That's so great. They found Phil. Yeah, he's hiding in a crack. That is so great. So now Filet and Rosetta are going to hook back up, talk for weeks probably. Because you know how, like, if you got a good friend you haven't seen in a while, you guys get back together. You're like, hey, and you get all chatty. That's what they're going to do probably for weeks, months. Yeah, I don't know. How does he have enough battery to do that? Oh, yeah. But isn't he getting some sunlight in that crack? Oh, he's usually, in a crack! Yeah, usually. Oh, no! There's no sunlight getting in there. Well, it's a crack, so some light's getting in. It's a little. Yeah, depending on which way it's turned. Oh, or, God. or rotated. Oh, my God. Rotate your crack. The comet. Like, play! And, like, Rosetta back. Wow, high-resolution cameras on European Space Agency's Rosetta spacecraft. I found a space probe, but Lee was landing on a comet nearly two years ago. Only to lose, lose, pa lose, lose, lose power. Because, this is great, what reason did they give, oh, it's solar-driven batteries, we're in the shade. And usually, if you're in the shade, you're made. Oh, man, I'm in the shade, I'm made in the shade. But here's like, I'm really screwed in the shade. Oh, it's like hell for a flea. Yeah. He lives off light. He got the dark crack of darkness. Oh, that's a bummer. I wonder if it smells bad in there. That's what I was, yeah. Sometimes scientists have fragile egos. Yeah. So... Let's remind them that when Flay landed on the comet in November 2014, in what was considered a remarkable feat of precision space travel, but the meter-sized probe bounced several times before getting stuck against a cliff wall. Wait, what? There's a big difference between being stuck against a cliff wall. Like, for example, I could press you up against a cliff and give you a good kiss, but could I press you up against a dark crack and give a good kiss? Oh, <laughs> um, that's what I remember was that, you know, that picture where it looks like the duck's head is down. That was the wall that he was up against was that, you know, and now they're saying, what did he fall? I guess he fell because now they have like an x-ray image of him. Like somebody swallowed a, um, you know, like a thing from the, from a jack set or like a car. And then they had to go to an x-ray. That's what they did to the comet to find out where Filet was. They, they x-rayed him and they're like, oh, there he is. It's all lit up against the wall. Not a crack. <laughs> I guess, and I'm learning for the first time that here they had on this comet, I guess, an ancient civilization that only had the ruins of their buildings and homes standing. So that when Flay hit, it bounced into one of those homes or buildings walls, and then the building had been torn, so there was like a crack where the wall was, right? Um, why didn't they give us any pictures? Flay did not have as much time as they had hoped for experiments. Information it has collected is reshaping. Oh, 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 thinking about comets and how much battery power to actually put on them. And the project has helped in designing future missions. Yeah, like, yeah. hey, man, we have more batteries next time. <sighs> <sighs> At least send some mice up there so they can run in a hamster wheel and get them. Speaking of hamster's wheel, this wonderful news means that we now have the missing ground dash truth. The missing ground dash truth. Information needed to put full ace three days of science into proper context. Now that we know that ground actually is, USA's Rosetta Project scientist Matt Taylor said in a statement, Matt's a snappy dresser. Oh. It seems like a decent guy to have a pint with. Ground truth. Ground truth. Ground truth. It's like ground beef. But it's truth. Ground. Ground truth. Into a paste of... Needed to put fillets three days of science into proper context. Ground truth. Now that we know where the ground actually is. Into a pink paste that is easily digestible by consumers. Ground truth. Ground truth. Scientists expect to get a final glimpse a fillet later this month. Oh, that's weird. But when Rosetta snapped some pictures during close flybys, dun dun dun, and here's the doom, man. Farewell, Rosetta. Just like the Wookiee, 
He's not getting a medal, and then unlike the Wookiees, she's getting crashed into the comet. Yeah, that's totally rude. Space mission to end on collision course with comet. Why, why is everything got to be on a collision course? 